All right, in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to find the volume of a cylinder, which is just how much can a three-dimensional cylinder hold inside of it, the volume. Now, make sure to stick around to the very end because these questions can be answered two different ways depending on how your teacher is looking for those answers to be given. So let's first start by talking about what we know about a cylinder. The top and the bottom, which we consider the base of the shape, B, B is representing base, is a circle. And the way we find the area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually say pi r squared and r b is our radius here, three, three inches. So we're gonna say pi times three squared, which is gonna represent our base, our area of our base. Because it's a circle, we use the, air, the formula for area of a circle. Okay, and then we're gonna multiply that by our height. And in this case, our height is how tall the cylinder is, so six inches in this case. So all you need to do here is take three, square it. Three times three is gonna give you a nine. You're gonna then take that nine, multiply it by this six, and pi. All three of these need to be multiplied together, pi, nine, and six. Because we already know what nine times six is, that comes out to 54. And we still need to multiply by pi. Now, sometimes teachers are going to look for this as the answer. This is a, an exact answer. 54 pi technically is the exact volume that this cylinder would hold. But uh, at other times, you might have a worksheet where you're being asked to round to the nearest. So what you would then need to do is you need to take a calculator and just punch those numbers in. 54 times pi and in this case, I get 169.646033, da 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 da. If I'm asked to round to the nearest tenth, 169.64, the nearest tenth place, okay, is right there, the six. The four tells me not to round it up, keep it a six. So my final answer would be 169.6 inches cubed. Okay, the two ways that this answer can be given the exact or the rounded measure. Hopefully this helps. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.